Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we did just finish this research at the tail end of the last episode. It might have been right after I cut it, actually. But we do probably want to go for these minerals from jobs, I'm thinking. So we'll grab those. We've got some necrophaging happening. That's all well and good. Reinforcements in transit, yes. Relic activation, that's not really something that we're going to do just now. Okay. Sounds excellent. So we've got a little bit of work to do here, but honestly not too much. We're basically at our naval cap here, so things are going pretty well, I think. I do want to get this tech world- oh, ruler unemployment. Yeah, that's not really something we can do anything about right now. Fair enough. This one is a specialist unemployment though, that's on a generator world? Okay. I'm just wondering if maybe we want to grab a few additional civilian industries? Perhaps. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Excellent. So all we need to do now is deal with the Enigmatic Fortress, and we'll get into position for that. We have reinforcements on the way, but they're not there yet. And of course, we are investigating up here. So that's all well and good. This starbase has finished its construction queue. That looks great. Let's actually go through our starbases real quick here and make sure that everything is pretty much good to go. That one's upgrading to Citadel still, as is these. That's completely fine. These are trade hubs and anchorages. Oh, hello. We need a couple additional anchorages here. That'll actually put us up underneath our naval cap, which is great. That naval cap is going to have to still keep coming up, though. There's no doubt about that. Our shipyards are all good to go except for Wodriax, which actually still needs its Titan and Colossus assembly yards. That's fine. We've got the three shipyards, and we want to think- oh, a most irritating envoy. Okay, we'll just spend the influence. We don't really need that right now too badly. I mean, it would be handy to have around, but that's fine for now. We do have some worker unemployment on our capital. Let's go ahead and... There isn't really a point in having a gene clinic here. At this time, let's replace that with an admin office. Because we're going to start having our population grow super, super high. So that's a thing. We should also, as soon as this anomaly is done, get started settling this Gaia world. That'll be great. What do we want to do with this Gaia world? Hmm. I mean, it could be a quasi-mining world that would offset, like, the costs of generating alloys, perhaps, there. I feel like we're doing okay on our research. And that we don't really need that much more research than what we've got right now. At least for now. And we're going to continue investigating this one for a while yet, it looks like. Okay. That is going to take some time. These shield hit point tech just came in. I don't know why I pluralized that. That's a very strange thing to do. Uh, let's grab... Honestly, these are kind of interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. We'll just take the damage for... Actually, they're not interchangeable. Because we have a chance to miss. That means that more rolls is actually preferable to the same amount of damage increase. So we'll go for the attack speed first. Excellent. So we have these guys set up. Eh, kind of. It is going to take some time to get the Enigmatic Fortress dealt with, but I want to make sure that the science ship is in position down over here first. So we're going to wait for a little bit here. Marvels of Medicine. The Durfa crew have identified the derelict tanker in orbit of Himpra 2 as an advanced medical research vessel. Its construction suggests it was created by the same aliens who built the wormhole destabilizer in the pull core system, and, like the station, it has been abandoned for quite some time. While most of the tanker's data systems have suffered irrevocable de degradation, Jarson has recovered the molecular, molecular structure for a remarkable neuroregenerative agent from on board. The agent appears to work via transfusion, and should serve to significantly increase the generation of neurons, axons, and synapses in its recipient. 
If modified to suit Grim Neurology, this agent should notably improve the learning capacity of any Grim when exposed to it. Okay, Neural Tissue Engineering. Nice. Okay, so we should definitely colonize this ASAP. We'll colonize it with, I guess, these guys. It doesn't really matter who we colonize it with, if I'm honest. We'll go ahead and initiate a jump over to Zeober, and then from there, we'll move into Henseden. Perfect. And our construction ship will follow up afterwards. Just as soon as it's done with this construction up here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and queue up the jump and the move. Uh, did that queue up a jump? I'm not sure if it did or not. I guess we'll find out. I don't see the arrow, so that's interesting. <laughs> Regardless, I think we're ready to move in and deal with the Enigmatic Fortress. Now, we are going to either have to build a station here in Mestros, or acquiesce to the fact that we are not defending these four. And, well, <laughs> these four here. So, something like that. I'm not sure if we want to do that or not. I'll have to think about that. I mean, obviously, the correct thing to do is to push over this way and grab Enif. Enif is the correct place to build one of those. Okay, here we go on the Enigmatic Fortress. We should have no problem with this. Yeah, it seems to be fine. We are going to want to build reinforcements ASAP. Okay. With the defeat of the defenses surrounding the ancient structure, we may find a way to explore its mysteries. Entering and traversing it may be difficult, but whoever built it must have possessed technology we can hardly dream of. Making matters more arduous, the fortress appears to be recovering. Some of the people who helped disarm the fortress have volunteered to attempt entering and exploring it with backup from the headquarters on Azure Chalice. Following through on our end will no doubt present its own challenges, and we are going to do that. Despite the ages of technology separating us and the builders of the fortress, one invention is timeless. A closed door. After having forced the fortress to shut down, we found all entrances sealed. The team dispatched to explore the fortress have found an airlock which at least appears possible to open from the outside if it had been in working order. Okay, so we can get a demolitions team and a local power surge. So these are one or the other, transport ships or science ships. And we're going to use our science ship that we conveniently have here. In we go. Excellent. Because this thing does replenish, we are going to go ahead and hit this reinforce fleet button. But otherwise, let's see, the Titans... What did we put on them in terms of their cloud? Nanobot cloud. Okay, perfect. So this will repair itself. And uh, we want them to be grouped together. There we go. Wonderful. Construction venture completed. Okay, so in we go. And we will go ahead and do this. And hopefully we'll be able to survey this. Actually, hang on. This only takes 30 days. We have a thousand days to do this. Let's survey the system first. This is a quick survey. And then after that, we will move here and research this. Although it doesn't seem to want to let me queue that, queuing that one up. Yeah, it doesn't want to let that happen, but that's okay. Let's just get this survey done quick. And yep, it looks like it did in fact queue up the jump, but not the movement afterwards. Noted. Let's keep the construction ship out of that system. Okay. That's an arid world. This is an arctic world. Noted. Fantastic. Well, let's get this out of here and get this done. Ooh, naval cap. That's really good for us. Admin cap isn't actually that big of a deal. Neural tissue engineering, however, I definitely want to get that going. Only five months on that to boot. Excellent. It has now been surveyed. And we will go ahead and head on over here. This is only 30 days to research this, although it doesn't want to let me research it from there. But we can research it from here. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. At any rate, we'll run the local power search. 
Let's see if that gets the door opened. These guys are, of course, very, very slowly repairing. Having stabilized the ship's connection to the power system of the fortress, we must decide how much energy to supply in the first surge. Since the technology is unfamiliar, the exact amount is difficult to determine. Two estimates are available. So we could go with 50 energy credits or 500. It doesn't really matter to us in terms of our economy. And generally speaking in Paradox games, I don't know about this particular event chain, but generally speaking in Paradox games, things that are more expensive have better outcomes. Not necessarily, but generally. So we'll go with the higher estimate. The high level of energy sent into the fortress to power the door was powerful enough to cause the reignition of a deeper energy source within. With its defenses online once again, the airlock will not be a concern until we've disabled them. Okay. Sounds good. So we will go ahead and re-disable the fortress. There we go. And we'll give the go-ahead again. We'll find someone to assist the team. Where is the science ship? It is still there, completely fine. We'll go ahead and research that. So now we know that it should be the lower amount. Uh, give the go-ahead. Oh, I guess it didn't fully finish up there. Interesting. We'll continue reinforcing that. We're still working on the local power surge, so that is great. Uh, okay. Give the go-ahead. We'll find someone to assist the team. Okay. It still didn't finish up. There we go. Now we're going to go with the lower estimate. At first, the amount of energy supplied to the fortress seemed too small to make a difference. Then, the area surrounding the airlock slowly started to show signs of functioning. With some mechanical tricks and guesswork, the team accessed the controls and managed to open the airlock itself. Although not by the cleanest docking procedure, they're now inside the fortress. Let's hope we can also get them out. Okay, so they're inside, and the question is... Ah, we've got... A lot of things that we can potentially do here. These are... This is kind of bugged. Okay. It's definitely kind of bugged. We've already chosen another project. Yeah. Better stay out of that thing. It just keeps regenerating, and we're just going to say stay out of that thing until these pop up. There we go. The away team find their way blocked by a massive bulkhead. The team report that there is a recessed alcove to their right, housing a pedestal and a contraption wrought in the same black metal as the fortress itself. They believe this device is the key to opening the bulkhead. The leader of the explorers describes it as three upright poles, spaced equidistant across the top of the pedestal, with three rings, metal tori, of varying sizes placed around the leftmost pole, the smallest at the top, and the largest at the bottom. So they're all around the leftmost pole, and it goes from small to large. Okay. We could place metal rings around the remaining two poles, search for torus-shaped indentations on the bulkhead, rearrange the metal tori on the poles, or remove the center and rightmost poles from the pedestal. I have no idea. <laughs> I do not remember this. Okay, I know I've gone through this chain before and it was kind of a pain, but I think... First things first, let's place the metal rings around the remaining two poles. They're disturbing noises. Okay. After the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, then vague scraping noises as the team attempted to carry out their plan. After another pause, faint shuffling, and a drawn-out sharp sound increasing in pitch over five seconds. I, I guess that's a sentence? <laughs> I was expecting that to continue. Then a long silence. It took us several minutes to accept that this was the end of the expedition. No screaming, no calls for aid. We can at least hope this means they met a quick end. After a quarter, a slow, heavy rasp s suggests that whatever trap sprung on them reset itself. Some present claim it sounded like alien laughter. Finally, the fortress managed an even more disturbing sound, that of the power returning to its defense systems. Okay, so now we have to take it down again. That was clearly the wrong choice. Okay, we'll give the go-ahead. We'll find someone to assist the team. And we will go ahead and go on in. We know more than we did previously. 
So that's great. Uh, stay out of that thing until this is done. Okay, there's our neural tissue engineering. Excellent. I guess we'll grab Citadels of Faith. May as well. A special project. We're going to go with a lower estimate. Let's hope we can also get them out. And now we wait. And that's going to continue popping periodically. We can go ahead and get these upgraded. That'll be fine. Excellent. And we do need a specialist job on Donkle Prime. That's going to be interesting to do. Let's just go ahead and get these energy crit, or rather these uh, tile blockers set up. Excellent. I feel like we're not supposed to camp right outside, but we now know that we're not supposed to do this. We'll try to search for torus-shaped indentations on the bulkhead. Okay. This is exactly the same thing as previous. Gotcha. Okay, we'll give the go-ahead. And we'll try this again. We'll get there. It's only a matter of time. Did we lose anything? Kind of. We kind of did. Okay, we'll just pump out a few additional contraptions there. Or ships, technically. And this one's cheapest. Excellent. We're going to continue to stay out of that thing. We're going to go with the lower estimate. Let's hope we can also get them out. And we're going to stay out of that thing. We only need to be in it with one group at a time. So what, do we, what else do we got? Uh, this is the star. <laughs> there we go. We can rearrange the metal tori on the poles. Hey, there we go. After the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, then vague scraping noises as the team attempted to carry out their plan. A splashing sound, so loud that at first you think the team has been swatted like small insects, is followed by cheers from the team as they report that a passage has opened. The bulkhead appears to have rapidly transformed into an unpleasant-smelling liquid reminiscent of purple quicksilver. Combined with the relatively mundane puzzle mechanism, you have a feeling that the team has been victims of an elaborate prank set up millennia ago. Well, we can laugh about it now, at least. Excellent. Elthir does... hang on. Stay out of that thing. Elthir does need a building slot put in, and this is, of course, an alloy world. We're going to put in an alloy foundry, although I actually think that for this building slot, we should put in a mineral purification plant. We only have two mining districts, granted. We can also clear out these tile blockers and build a city district to fix our housing. Excellent. We'll stay out of the thing for now. We're keeping it under control. Okay. The team reports that they have reached what appears to be the geometric center of the fortress, even if the internal geometry leaves some doubt if the concept of a center is even relevant in there. What is indisputably relevant is how the forest is powered, which makes the team's new discovery all the more interesting. Dark matter is funneled all around the fortress and then back to the core like a cardiovascular system. Although the flow is stopped, the team has found signs that it's starting again. We can take all the time we want to study it, but it needs to be stopped now. Well, we'll find a way. We can supply dark matter, or we can use force. But there is going to be a special project here as well. So yeah, we can... Home system research... Requires a science ship in orbit around our home system. Okay. These are all mutually exclusive. We could simply supply them our own dark matter. We can give it a go. It only takes 30 days, and that's the most convenient one. It probably also isn't going to work because it's the most convenient one, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah, we better stay out of that thing for now. How are we doing on that? Almost done. A special Whoever built the fortress may have been more knowledgeable than we, but not more clever. 
Supplying our own dark matter to close the loop of the power system in the fortress worked, and the core is now effectively cut off from providing power to its systems. Finally, we can take the time to have a closer look at what these knowledgeable people have accomplished. Finally, okay, so this is the end of the chain. We now have a couple of interesting research options, and we gained a lot of research from that. And the Enigmatic Fortress is gone. Okay, let's get in there. We can take our science ship back to... Where does this belong? <laughs> I'm sure we have a science world somewhere. Yeah, Canopus Prime, but we have one there. Um, Atronar's Alloys and Mining, that's industry, alloys. Ebonar has a science world, but it's got a science ship. We can actually send it to Elthir. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump it here and then send it to Elthir. And from there, we can send it over that world. Excellent. Energy weapon attack speed has finished up, and we can grab enigmatic encoder and enigmatic decoder. Fascinating. Tracking and chance to hit, and evasion. Oh, those are actually quite good. Yeah, we're going to grab those for sure. Now, as far as whether we're going to put in a defensive platform here, I think as long as we're at peace, we may as well, at least for now. We can definitely put in a command center over here. Metacognitive faith has finished up. That's great. We don't need admin cap right now. Let's just do Xeno relations since that's non-repeatable. Excellent. And we're going to be able to put up two additional colonies once this starbase is done. So that is absolutely fantastic. I also want to start working on constructing some megastructures, specifically gateways. That's what we're saving the influence for right now. Now, this construction ship can actually begin work on one of those right now. I want it to put up a gateway construction site right here a study has been completed excellent grand embassy complex finishing up that's not a surprise uh none of these are particularly relevant we'll grab army health as a bit of a reroll construction venture completed the first combat fleet can return to zeober time has run out the enigmatic fortress is recovered um it's actually gone yeah, that, that's part of that bug. <laughs> it's, it's not actually doing anything. So we're going to see that a bunch of times for now. This is a tech world. So we can go ahead and put in a research lab. Yeah, the, we're, we're going to see that a bunch of times until it finally gets around to stopping. We'll build a mining station here. And we will go ahead and upgrade this starport and begin colonizing these worlds. So we will just send these guys for necrophaging. And we will send, say, 93%. Okay, close enough. We'll send these guys for necrophaging. Wonderful. Yeah, that's going to continue happening for a little bit. We do want to attempt to buff up our fleets for a little while. Specifically the first combat fleet, which is already at full strength. And the second, third, and fourth. This fleet here... I, I do want to get rid of them. The question is, how much piracy suppression are we going to have here without them? They're currently 462. Max piracy is... 201. If we move them out of there, what is our piracy going to be at? That's the question right now. So let's get them out of there and we'll take a quick look. I would like to repurpose this fleet strength, or this, this naval capacity, more specifically, to go into our actual fleets. Yeah, that event will keep happening thanks to that bug. I mean, it's not really a bug, but we were doing it kind of awkwardly. Okay. The piracy here is 
not going up by very much. So here's the concept. We're going to transfer out the cruiser and the destroyer, and how much do we actually need here? I need a calculator. Okay, let me pull up a calculator. I'll switch over to display capture so that that's a little bit more visible. We are going to need a total of 205.25 piracy suppression. Now, we currently have 12 from our base, 64 from one of our star bases, 72 from Grumium, and 72 from Terminal Egress. Because trade value is greater than piracy suppression. Oh, of course, I'm a moron. So we need to clear this, and that would, of course, be 821 minus 12 minus 64 minus 72 minus 72, meaning we need 601 piracy suppression. This would be 360, correct? So if we were to move just this Starfleet back over to here, that shouldn't fix the piracy issue in Wasat. If I'm understanding this correctly. Let's put them in there and we'll see. Oh, that is sufficient. Okay, so we will then divide this in half. And we'll move half out. And we'll see if that's sufficient. Apparently I'm not understanding the math then. Oh, wait, maybe I am understanding the math. This won't work once these guys leave, if I'm understanding the math correctly. But we won't need that much more. Yeah, piracy is growing, but not by very much, because we actually only need three more Corvettes in there. Okay, so we'll split... I, I didn't mean to actually split them like that. We'll just transfer out one, two, three Corvettes. And... Oh, that transferred into the other fleet. I didn't mean to do that. We'll transfer one, two, three Corvettes like that. These guys will come back into Wasat. And this should be sufficient piracy suppression, at least for now until our trade grows. We'll grab the Enigmatic Decoder, and I am interested in putting in the Enigmatic Encoder here. That's 20% evasion compared to 20% sublight speed and 10% evasion. And this caps at 90, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we can't get our Corvettes to 100% evasion. Fair enough. That's completely fair. Okay, so this should be the quantity of ships that we need here. That's 36. Hang on, that's too much. We actually only needed 21. So I guess we will transfer ships out. I must have accidentally moved all of them. So we'll do 21 is how many we need. We can just disband these 15. I'm confident in that. And then these up here can also be disbanded. Okay, so this should be, if I can get out of the trade map mode, there we go. This should be 21 out of 36, and we want to make sure that, oh, this is super awkward. This is super awkward. Okay, we'll just leave it as is. <laughs> so with 21 there, this should be just sufficient to suppress piracy. Perfect. Okay, so that's under control. Let's go ahead and reach into the shroud, although it is actually time to put a cut in here. It's past time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, sub sub subscribes. I don't know why I was messing that one up. <laughs> subscribes and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time as we continue our preparations. <laughs>